Well, good morning and welcome you guys to Five Minutes of Blessing with Pastor Artel Bell Sr. Brought to you by Spirit of Excellence Ministries. And we are doing an awesome uh, series on the names of God. And this is going to be episode eight. So if you haven't got a chance to check out, check out the other eight or seven, be, be mindful that you want to take a look at those. But hey, we're going to go on with today's message with which is the name of God, Elahai Tahalita, which means God of my praise. God of my praise. Amen. So first that we're going to take the name of God from today is Psalms 109 and 1, um, where David says this, My God, Elahai, who I praise, Talitia, do not remain silent. Do not remain silent. Amen. 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 And in this verse, what, what David is addressing is you've had a season where you knew you were God, but God just did not uh, communicate with you. He was silent that you felt that his presence wasn't with you. Uh, David was going through that season. And the word that, he's, that he really is dealing with is adoration. We adore God. We praise God. But adoration isn't just singing a song. It's part of that. It's also having a deep love and respect for it. So your deep love allows you to sing a new song unto the Lord that your respect for God allows you to stand having done all else. Hallelujah. One of the things that we want to share is David said this this way. He says, listen, we should praise the Lord and we have reasons to praise up, to praise the Lord. One, is David said in 105th Psalm, verses five through six, praise him with the clash of the cymbals, praise him with the resounding cymbals, let everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord, praise the Lord. And that is saying universally, all right, everything that has breath, praise him. We as human beings have breath. Every human being on this earth in the atmosphere, <laughs> whether you're an astronaut or you're not on the earth, Everything that has breath is to praise God because our breath comes from God. Hallelujah. And in the previous episodes, we talked about him being the God of the heavens and the earth and all things in, in between. And if you say, hey, you know, is there another reason why I should praise him? Well, as a believer, as those who chose to follow him, we should praise him because in Hebrews 2 and 3, it tells us how shall we escape? If we ignore such a great salvation, the salvation which first announced by the Lord was confirmed to us by those who heard it. So he's saying everything should have give, give him praise. Everything should bless the Lord. But those of us who have walked in his salvation, who had the opportunity to be saved, should give him praise as well. So even those who haven't decided to, hey, I want to follow Jesus, the fact that you have the opportunity to escape and to walk in salvation is a reason to respect, love, and praise our God. Hallelujah. You know, um, Dr. Catherine Thrower, who was a lecturer and one of the founders of the Worldwide Unity Church, said this about the word praise. He, she said, what you praise, you increase. We use the word in the, in the church, in certain churches, says we magnify, we make bigger. Amen. And when we make it bigger, we can make things that are bad bigger, or we can make things that are good bigger. It's our perspective on things. Example, God created a rose. Amen. Some of us will praise God for that rose because that rose is beautiful. It has a great fragrance. It makes everything around it look better. Some of us will complain about that rose because that broke God gave those rules some thorns. Hallelujah. But if we focus on the thorn, we lose the perspective of the beauty, the fragrance of that rose. If I focus on the rose, on, on the beauty of the rose, then the thorns become less consequential and I make the rose in and of itself, the flower, the petals, bigger. So when we deal with situations in our lives, let's keep it real. Are we praising God in the midst of the trouble as well as praising God in the midst of the blessings? Miracles come, we can bless them. Healing comes, we can bless them. 
uh, financial healing, we come, we can praise and adore him. But God is saying we are to praise and adore him in every situation because Paul said, and I think Romans 8 and 28, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. You know, we can be the rose sometimes and bring light to situations. We can be the thorn sometimes. Hallelujah. That God has to surround with roses so that we come to him. But no matter where God has us and what he has chosen for us in that season, or even what we've chosen for ourselves, he is worthy to be praised. Remember, God is deserving of our praise. He's deserving our adoration. So we should, we should praise him as our God, who is the God of my praise. May God prosper you. May God bless you. Until next time. Be encouraged. God is with you.